22. See? Yes. Now, in this case, when you're um, um, in this one, again, the same thing. You guys can see we're now, instead of multiplying, we're subtracting. However, if you want to remember, Brianna, the same policy applies. The main important thing, guys, is to simplify. Simplify, David. Simplify. And then simplify. So now we have the third root, though. It's very important. We have the third root. Okay. So when you guys get into factoring, though, I want you guys to understand there's some, there's some very important numbers. Yes, we can use the factoring tree, but I'm trying to get you guys also to think of like not using the factoring tree. Um, so let's th we know some squared numbers, right? To our four, uh, four, nine, sixteen, twenty-five, thirty-six. Those are all numbers you can take the square root of. Well, what are some cube numbers? Two times two times two is eight. 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. 5 times 5 times 5 is 125. And 6 times 6 times 6 is 216. These are the most common. You might get up to using 7 times 7 times 7, or 8 times 8 times 8. But these are going to be the most common that you guys should know, hey, I can take the cube root of all of these numbers. What's important about this is if you're going to use, um, now. If you're going to use prime factorization, yeah, you could have broke this down by 27. But let's, let's just break this down into 9 times 9, 3 times 3, 3 times 3. Let's say you can't figure out that 27 divides into that 3 times. So therefore, you'd have 10 times the cube root of 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. And we, what we last discussed, um, Diamond, is when you're using this, since you're taking the cube root, how many groups of 3s do you need to, to take the cube root of them? 3. three. So therefore, this simplifies to 10 times 3 cube root 3 minus 8. Now, I can simplify 24. Now, if I was going to simplify 24, I would break that down into 8 and 3. But before factoring this down further, I notice 8 is a cube number, right? So I, yes, you can continue factoring it down and doing the prime factors if you want to. But I prefer to leave it as its factored form like this. Why? Because I know what the cube root of 8 is. What is the cube root of 8? 2. Two. So I have 10, or it's actually 10 times 3 is 30, cube root of 3 minus 8 times 2 times the cube root of 3. 8 times 2 is 16, so I have 30 cube root of 3 minus 16 cube root of 3. So when multiplication, the main important thing to multiply, divide, your uh, root had to be the same. And then you, just add, then you just multiply, divide the radicands. However, when you're adding and subtracting radical expressions, you have to have the same root or the same index, as well as the radicands have to be exactly the same. Well, in this case, I have the cube root of 3 for both of them. So now I just subtract by my coefficient. So I just do 30 minus 16, which is 14 cube root of 3. Done. See? It's not that bad.